Yeah. So, yeah. you know, just for the people watching this, man, um, for the people trying to be, you know, the next you, a uh, full-time content creator, what would you say to those people? What advice would you give to those people to be, you know, the next you or trying to be the next best social media content creator? Um, I think that it's important to kind of be a little arrogant in the beginning and just feel like this is what I want to put out or this is what I want to do and not worry too much about what people or how people are going to react or trying to go viral, I think is a, is a stupid thing. Like people who just go out of their way to try and go viral or there are people on the internet who I guess it works out for them. But my personal opinion is I think it looks foolish to be, to be one of those people who you can see and be like, you know, that they will literally do anything and become anybody just to be viral. And it's like, for what, bro? Like, and like, I worry about that, honestly. And like, I sound like an old ass man now, but like, I worry about that with kids, like having social media and being like, I need to just have an image now at fucking 16. Like you have to uphold an image or just be super cool in this way and have followers or whatever. Because by the time you're in your late twenties, early thirties, it's like, who the, who do you even know who you are? Like you've spent your entire life trying to just go viral and appease other people who don't really know you or don't really even fucking care. They care for the second that they're entertained. And then it's like, uh, whatever. But if you like died or something happened, they wouldn't even know. Right. It's like, those are the people you're trying to impress. And it's like, you can get really caught up in that. And that's happened to me before where you just lose sight of like things that are important because you're so wrapped up in like the internet and social media. And it's like, yeah, at the end of the day, like we all know this is fucking fake. Right. Like this is bullshit. Yeah. Like it's like the best version of everything and blah, blah, blah. Like everyone says that stuff, but over an extended period of time, it is very dangerous to be sitting there and being like, why the fuck am I so unhappy for some reason? And it's like, because you've done nothing for yourself. Like everything is for other people. You go out to a restaurant, you have to take a picture and you're posting it and you're tagging the place that you went so that other people think you're cool. It's like that whole experience now feels like it was for someone else. And people do that without even thinking. And it becomes so like unconscious that eventually that just bleeds into so many other parts of your life. And it's like, are you with this person because you even like them? Or are you with them because it looks good for social media? It just looks good for my image. It could just be, it's, and then you, and then you, one day, you go nuts. You think, I don't even know who the fuck I am. Everything's about image nowadays. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's fucking scary to think about all of that. And everyone is susceptible to that, even the people who are self-aware. So it's just like wild. I have a theory that we're going to look back on social media and people are going to be like, what the fuck? We allowed people on that? <laughs> right. Like that's, kids on that? Like, bro, that is a It's like cigarettes, answer. you know? That's, yeah, that's, that's, I, that's a fire answer. answer, bro. I'm thinking like, <laughs> damn. Dude, it's so I, true. I mean, I went through all of this shit, bro. Like I, I, I really like had to figure out why you know like i i like had made it at a certain point and i remember sitting in my apartment and i got like a nice apartment mm. and i'm like i feel nothing like right. what is going on yeah and i just i wanted to figure that out and that's why i stopped making youtube videos too because i was doing that and that's the thing that kind of like blew me up and how everyone knew me and i was making a bunch of money doing it and all the videos would get like a million views within a week and it would just go like crazy, but it, it started to feel like the thing that was like killing me. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just not doing it anymore. And I just stopped doing it out of nowhere. I don't think I even fucking said anything to anyone. <laughs> they were just like, what's, where's the video? Just stop, <laughs> just say yeah. fuck it. And I was doing the podcast at that time. And I liked that so much because it's easier to kind of not feel like you're performing or that you're not being as genuine or whatever. Because when you are making videos, you are like a character, you're performing and you know, whatever. Entertaining. But with a podcast, it's easier to be a little more genuine and have an open conversation. So I enjoyed that. So I kept doing that. <laughs> yes.